Hello there, this is my first tutorial of my series of awesome tutorials. And what we're going to do now is we're going to learn some C++. Uh, and this is uh, a Hello World tutorial. And it's going to be cool. So let's start by uh, including a library. And that um, allows us to use uh, commands and including this library will tell the computer to include a list of commands and things so we can use them so we'll do that now we'll go hash include uh, and then we'll say io stream so that's i o s t r e a m and you've got to put those in uh, less than and greater than signs okay so what we got to do now is we'll say using name space std and we'll put a semicolon at the end of that so what that's doing there is saying it's going to use a a part of that library um, called std so we can um, use some cool commands and things and the semicolon at the end uh, should be used for pretty much everything um, that you want to end right I will explain that later anyway so what we got to do now is make a function uh, so we'll go int so int space m a i n uh, and we'll make it a void type of function so then we'll press um, the open type of brace thingy it's like a curly bracket and we'll go enter um, so what that's done is made a integer um, function called main and everything every application needs a main function uh, and it's a type of void so we'll explain that also later so what we want to do is make it say hello world so to do that we want to use a function in uh, std called c o u t which is c out and we'll go two less than signs and then we'll make a string which is a bunch of text so we'll put that in uh, in like uh, inverted speech mark things uh, and we'll say hello there there and we'll do an exclamation mark just for fun and we'll close the speech marks and now what we want to do is go another less than another two less than signs and space and e n d l which ends that line and then to end that command we want to put a semicolon okay enter for the next command and what we're going to do now is we're going to do a thing so that the computer pauses after uh after it says hello there so what we're going to do is we're going to go system uh, and then capital P A U S E, so all those in capitals. Uh, and what you got to do, because um, after system you got to open uh, brackets, because that tells the computer to, to have. Okay, inside the brackets are arguments, and system has one argument because it needs to know, you know, what to do. So let me explain that better. So um if if you've ever used command prompt or a batch file or anything like that then um you'd know the command pause which pauses everything right so the system command kind of uses uh it'll get an argument which is used in a batch file or command prompt and do that thing if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so what we're going to do next is return and then one, which means uh, exit success pretty much. So it'll close properly, and we got to put a closing thing at the end of that, just like we do all the time. And now to close that whole function, we'll put a close curly bracket to end all of that. Okay, let's test that out to see what it does. And it's loading, it's compiling. Okay, and here it is here, it says hello there, and press any key to continue. So, 
I hope you have enjoyed this and learned something out of it. Thanks for watching.